gmail.com and it's really late at night so I'm not allowed to practice my harp or I'll wake up the people downstairs. And I have to learn this music for a gig on Thursday morning. So this music is actually quite simple but there's a lot of dynamics in it and I thought I'd share my little secret as to how I try and memorize them. Markers, one of my most frequently used weapons in my armory. So I've decided blue stands for winter, it's cold. Orange, my most intense color, that's gonna be heat, that's gonna be forte. And then this yellow is gonna be the transition. So, ta-da! So it's really simple, okay? I just looked for everywhere that it said piano or pianissimo, and I covered it in blue. I looked for everywhere that it said forte, and I covered it in orange. And I looked for everywhere that there was a transition between a piano and a forte and I made it yellow, okay? So when I've got my page color coded like this, I just find it so much easier to memorize. If I was learning in an old fashioned black and white way, I'd kind of go, be going, oh, oh, where are those little, those tiny little bold letters? Oh yes, those things. And, and what do they mean? And where do they go? And oh, these hairpins, oh, oh, they're so anonymous. I can't remember where they fit in the page. Whereas when I have it color coded, I can see immediately, right, massive bar of orange, massive bar of blue. I'm gonna go really, really loud, really, really quiet. Then I've got, oh my God, bit of blue, massive thing of orange again. Right, it starts quiet and then it's mostly hot. I mean, <laughs> loud. And then I've got this really cool shape here where I have starting off very quiet, but then I have a transition. So I'm yellow to really loud orange to yellow again, back to the blue. So I've got this really cool crescendo, decrescendo shape. And then I have that exact same thing repeated here. So it's kind of like a sandwich to me, funnily enough, a double decker sandwich, because I've got, say the blue or the quiet is my bread. I'm gonna go bread, filling, bread, filling, bread. Ta-da! So instead of having to think of these really anonymous, for me, locationless little letters and hairpins, I can just think, orange, blue, blue into orange, and then the double-decker sandwich. And I just find myself learning the music a lot quicker. Now, time will tell. I've done this a lot and it's always worked for me. This has to be done in one day. Hmm. If you'd like to find out how I get on, hit subscribe and you'll be notified if I put up a video. If I do get this done, I'm gonna put up a little informational video as to how it went. And either way, I hope that this trick might work for you in your harp journey. Slan.